Ah, yeah. So basically, this is the deal. I got super duper tired of trying to find stuff on the internet. Here is my first tutorial. It is going to be how to do X32 Behringer Mixer and Cubase Interfaced properly. Okay, so first of all, here's the X32. I have updated it to the most current operating system, which at this point I think is, well, let's just find out. 3.07, my bad. And that is straight from their website, from Matt, uh, Behringer's website as of uh, whatever today is, August uh, 15th. Make sure that your audio output is hooked right here. You see where it says monitor control room out. Left and right. Right there. Hit the aux in USB button. It's going to look like that. See that, that little knob right there? You're going to hit it. It says link. And when you hit it, it says, do you want to link tracks one and two? You say yes. And then you'll notice that when you do that, they're automatically pan left and right. Then, these first two knobs right here, turn them up to zero, turn your main up to zero. Here and here, those are going to be your input channels, which are going to be completely separate from your output channels. Your output channels are going to be auxiliary. Your input channels are going to be your microphones plugged in the back, going to Cubase. Ba-boom. See that? This is your monitor. Turn that mother hummer up to about half or wherever you want to hook it up, you know, depending on your speakers. But that is going to control your controller room output, which you're going to be listening to. Okay, the next step you're going to do is get your PC going and go to Behringer's site. When you go to Behringer's site, you're going to pick uh, products, then pick the X32, then pick downloads, and download whatever's current on there. Install them. Go to Devices once it's installed. Then device setup, right? Go to audio interface, boom. Make sure you pick Behringer, right? Okay. And then also do this. Pick remote devices, hit the plus sign, pick Mac control, not the H, oh, um, the human interface, but the Mac control, and I'll show you why in a minute. And install it. It's gonna look, make sure that you pick for your MIDI inputs, might not be connected, pick the X UF MIDI and X UF MIDI for both in and out. I'm assuming at this point there's a MIDI or USB cord right here. See that guy? That is going from right there, the first one. Not that one. That one. Go to devices, VST connections. Make sure your inputs are set to whatever you want, and you can keep adding inputs, outputs. One and two, go to setup, go to remote, make sure you have Mackie MCU pick selected, enable it right here with this thing right there. Okay, now here's the most important thing to monitoring, go to routing, you only have to make one change, routing auxiliary to remap, it defaults. Let's see if I can get it here. It defaults to that. Auxiliary in, I believe, you're going to move it down to card one and two. You download the drivers. You connect to the USB from the back of the X32 to your PC. You set the PC to use inputs one and two and outputs one and two on the ASIO driver for the X32. Then you set your remote to be Mackie MCU, and when you went into Cubase, you set your remote to be Mackie Control and chose those inputs, those MIDI inputs I showed you. And then on your uh, X32, you hit the AUGS USB FX return button, and you turned channels one and two after you link them to zero and the master output to zero and turned your monitor up and you connected your speakers to the monitor outputs on the x32 
So hopefully I recapped that all properly. Now look over here. There's a little switch on the side that says remote. There it is, remote. Pick it. Pew. Now what's going to happen when you do that? These eight channels, which are normally your DCA bus channels in a live mix, now become your Mackie controller. You see how they have names on them? Those are the names of my tracks on my project, right? Okay, so here's the deal. This button right here picks your play, rewind, stop buttons, and you'll see that in the windows here. This button, you notice how it turns everything to mute. This button allows you to set record ready with the mute buttons. This button, if you hold down, allows you to change which bank you're controlling with the mixer. Watch. Okay, now we hit play. Oh, look at that. Not only do we have meters over here and we have sound to our speakers, but we're actually getting meters on the Mackie section of the mixer. And over here, we have control of our output. But if we hit this button, we have control of our inputs for the first 16 channels, control of our input for the second 16 channels with that guy right there, back to our audio outputs from Cubase. I paid $1,200 for this mixer at Guitar Center. You can't buy an interface with 32 inputs and a Mackie control for anywhere near that price. You are crazy enough to run to Guitar Center and buy one of these. Peace out, yo.